Hi, and welcome to this section of the Probability and Statistics Tutor. And in this section, we're going to cover the topic of mean and standard deviation of a binomial probability distribution that we've been studying in the last section, okay? So one thing that you need to, to kind of think about is in the last section, actually two sections ago, we presented the basic idea of what a probability distribution is, okay? And uh, you know what it is now. It's just this function that when you, when you put in values of your random variable, whatever it is you're trying to study, you get back the probability that that, that, that value will occur. That's really what it is, okay? And then, so we talked about that. We talked about also the mean and the standard deviation in general of a probability distribution function. We had the general formulas there. And then the next section, which was the last section, we talked about the probability uh, distribution, the binomial pop probability distribution, that specific probability distribution. We talked about how to calculate values and, and set it up and really understand how to use the tables and everything else. This section is going to tag along to the end of that, and we're going to now study the mean and the standard deviation of the binomial probability distribution, okay? So what we're learning in this section really is nothing new. It's just that uh, I'm going to, we're going to sh uh, work with some specific formulas that have been derived uh, to calculate the mean and the standard deviation very, very easily of when you know it's a binomial. You can always use the general formulas that we've already talked about a couple of sections ago. You can always apply those, okay? So we're not learning anything that's replacing that information. It's just that for the binomial distribution, the uh, formulas are actually a lot simpler. So we're going to use those and we're going to do a couple of quick problems to show you how to do that. So first let's go ahead and, and just do a little bit of review uh, from a couple of uh, uh, sections ago. We know that for any probability distribution, any probability distribution you can make up, whether it's a table or a function or whatever, we know the following things because we studied this a couple of sections ago. We know that the mean, mu, of this probability distribution function is equal to the sum uh, along all x, all uh, values of the random variable that you're studying, of the sum of x times the probability that x will occur. And really all this is doing, just to recap really briefly, is you're taking the values of your, of your random variable that you're studying. This could be the number of eggs you know, a hen lays in a day or something. And for each value, 0, 1, 2, 3, for however many you have, you're just multiplying by the probability that that thing will actually occur. And then by adding them all up, you get an average value of what, of what the random variable is going to be. So at the end of the day, this will tell you that on average, let's say if we're talking about the number of, hen, of eggs a hen may lay, this mu, this, this average uh, mean value, could be, you know, 1.67. On average, the hens in this particular farm, given this data, would lay 1.67 eggs, let's say. So it's giving you the average value of this random variable because we're multiplying by their probabilities and then we're adding them all up, okay? Now, I'm going to draw an equivalent table over here for the binomial things actually get a little bit simpler, okay? So that's a good thing. Uh, the mean can be simplified from this expression for the binomial distribution, it's just equal to n, the number of trials, times the probability of success. That's it. Okay? So instead of looking at every random variable and then multiplying by f of x, which you can calculate for a binomial, you know what f of x is. We've, we've talked about it. That's that combination of n and x, and then p to the x, and then q to the n minus x. That's that big binomial function. You could calculate all the values of f, multiply uh, by x, and you could sum them all up and you would get the mean. Well, it's been derived that that whole process just yields this as a result. So if you know you're dealing with a binomial, you know the number of trials you're dealing with in, we just studied the binomial distribution, 